Captain Titus, the Orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces, and they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned Orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report. Starboard engine is dead, Sergeant. We are losing altitude. Get the ship to safety. We'll find another way down. Aye, Captain. Thunderhawk Lancer Charm returning to launch bay. surface to take out the gun battery. Or do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the Orcs. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up.
Captain Titus, come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up Vox chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading toward the front lines now. I will meet you there. be with you, Space Marine. Captain! Destroy them! Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself, the Andrews. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that guard. I want to know how. Saved yourselves. We thought you dead. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Through here, my lords. Head out the upper level and continue through the plaza. The bunker is beyond that. Legs. I can't feel my legs. I got to see a space marine before the end. Captain, I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. Quotas must be met, despite alien incursions. Sergeant, I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. The orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. But typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. I may have encountered the orc during our jump to the surface. That was the orc ship I saw crash near here, I take it. Did he survive? If the Horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus Astarte. Weapons authorization confirmed. <laughs>
Imperial Guard. We are Ultramarines. Open this door. Space Marines. Word from the second wrecking. Another horde of the Greenskins are headed here from the south. Reinforce their position. Hold the line. Thank the Emperor. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me, then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus Astartes. Access authorized. What do you know of the Titans on this planet? Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactorum Ajakis. That was two weeks ago, and we've lost contact with them. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gates of the Manufactorum. Get me that field manual. Stuck on bloody Forge World and not a single tech priest in sight. That's where the orcs breach the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well. But you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. I'll hold you to that. contraptions across the battlefield. Captain, assault support pods were dropped in this area.
Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. Space Marine Wreckage. Access to Experimental Vengeance Launcher granted. A Vengeance Launcher. That's how you go. charges put those in the right place and this whole fortress will come down we could put the charge on one of the gun shells leandros you do the chapter proud We need to get the shell into that loader. There. I will place the charge on that shell. Good luck. The orcs will feed it right into the gun's chamber. We cannot rely on luck for this, Sir Donners. We follow the shell up and make sure it reaches its destination. situation, Lieutenant. We're gathering our wounded and are heading to the Andrus habitation block to establish an outpost. With the cannon down, our support craft will land there. Very well. My battle brothers and I must secure any operational Warlord-class Titans before the Orcs can loot them. Good luck. is a testament to the might of the Imperium. The Adeptus Mechanicus are masterful architects. Their work outlived all of them. Did the Lieutenant not say these tracks went to the complex as in the Titans? That thing is a battering ram. Now to stop this ram. Time to impact. No more than six minutes. Time enough.
Sedona's time to impact. Less than four minutes. We need to deal with that dropship. These trains have point defense towers. There'll be a heavy weapon ahead. Forward then. Cover me while I get to that weapon. The Manufactorum still holds. Some Imperial Guard units made it here after all. They cannot hold for long. We must hurry. What is that servo skull doing? Trying to deliver a message. It must be damaged. The seal of the Inquisition. Interesting. What is the Inquisition doing here? We're about to find out. This is Inquisitor Drogon. I need urgent assistance at Manufactor and Majakis. They're after the experimental device. The device is safe for the time being. I've drawn them off. But now I'm trapped. If I die, you must keep the device out of enemy hands. by joining corpse removal crews at your designated evacuation center. Captain, the orcs must be operating that crane. They will not stop until they break through that gate. We must disable that crane. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. Identify yourself. This is Corporal Antioch, sir. Uh, that is, my lord. I need access to the Manufactorum, Corporal. There is a service lift in the hangar directly below where you drop the cargo, my lord. We can meet you there. Stand ready. We'll be there shortly, Titus. A handful of guardsmen holding that huge gate. It cannot last long. I did manage to bring the access bridge down. Corporal Antioch, we are in position. Excellent, Captain. I'm sending the lift up now. Orcs! 
an entire horde! Antioch, hold the lift. We have orcs inbound. Yes, Lord Drogon. We have not seen him for several days. Has the Liberation Fleet arrived, my lord? The fleet is still en route, Corporal. The Ultramarines are here as a vanguard. To cripple the enemy and secure the most valuable assets. I see. But the facility and its titans remain secure. All I can say for certain is that no orc has breached this gate, my lord. Contact Lieutenant Mira. Her unit is establishing a bastion in Hab Center Andres and your support craft now have a viable approach for Morgan. What of the Colonel and his staff? They did not survive. Here we are, my lord. My thanks, Corporal. Last. A place the Orcs have not stayed. For now, I doubt even dropping that cannon on them will convince Orcs to back away. Indeed. Work, focus, meet your quota. Increased productivity gains high favor from the machine god. Titan Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused, you mean? Is this invasion not enough to bring up the War Titans? It takes hundreds to get a War Titan operational, Sergeant. Without them, it sits idle. Captain, this is an auger station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Access authorized. There. A lone human. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals throughout the facility, and a large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. Section 449 is understaffed by 100%. Please rectify. Do not abandon your workstation. Everything is under control. The Andros. Can you use this panel to contact our other forces? Not directly, but I can boost Vox range. Do it. Access authorized. Ultramarines chapter. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solanus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out.
Inquisitor, Ordo Xenos. Repeat authorization. Prepare the power source for immediate release. One moment. Disregard all safety protocols at... Speak clearly. Ah. Oh. Repeat authorization. <laughs> Was it a Drogon? I am Drogon. And you are... Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call. But you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source. It's running the entire Manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the Orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Then we must move it to safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. This way. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. I'm a Psyker. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. Xenos light force detected. Quick spray! You try to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! Ah! He balls himself! I'm gonna put your head on a spike, my spray! Damnable creature! Had he not blundered onto this world? But he did, Drogon. Space Marine recognized. Full access granted. There. We must get to that lift. My boys want to give you a proper greeting! does this facility go? The Manufactorum? Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Ah, yes. Here we are. Colder than a space with a smile in here. Yes. A byproduct of the device's functioning. Understood. Brothers, guard the access points. I have engaged the decoupling sequence, Captain. You must keep the chamber secure until the power source is exposed. Identity confirmed. Drogon, Ordo Xenos. Shield is open, Captain. Head into the central chamber. Alarm. Xenos detected. Now, head over to 
will retrieve the power source and get it into its canister. Sidonus, Leandros, respond. Captain, the Inquisitor insisted you could not have survived. Well, I did, and I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andris. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. Even here, the Ten Prince told them they're machine guns.
Captain Titus. Well met, brothers. Any idea of our position? We should be nearing an access point to the surface. The air smells a bit cleaner. I've had enough of tunnels. Let's get out of here and find the Inquisitor before the Orcs do. We have the sky over our heads again. Our rendezvous point is this way. What could the Orcs hope to gain by slaughtering so many? So terror, demoralize the militia. Cruel, but effective. This was no strategy of war. For Orcs, this was sport. Is unchanged. Get the Inquisitor and the power source off world. Titus, if they take over the Manufactorum, we will have a damnable time getting them out. We are Ultramarines. Orcs are not a problem. If we had a week, perhaps. But by then, the Orcs will have worked out how to dismantle the Titans. The base Marine recognized. Granting access. haven't left a single structure undamaged or unblooded. If you are injured, return to your quarters. The machine god will watch over you. The tech priest will have to bring all of these structures down and rebuild. This time on top of a mass grave. Inquisitor Drogon, we need to get you off planet before we're overrun by orcs. You were exposed to the unshielded power source. In the generator room, I saw it. You held raw energy from the warp. How are you still alive? The power source conducts warp energies. The stuff of chaos. Heresy. My work against the Xenos has the Imperium's blessing. Can your blessed work help us against the Orcs? My research is of the utmost secrecy. The Imperium forbids its use without sanction. Consider that your Imperial sanction. Very well. The power source fuels an experimental weapon at my research facility. The Psychic Scourge. It could destroy the Orcs. You didn't think to bring up this Scourge weapon before. The Psychic Scourge has never been test-fired, Sergeant. If it malfunctions, it could crack this planet in half. We're out of options. We fire the weapon and take our chances. The Psychic Scourge is at the Calchis facility, my research laboratories. It is a fair distance. We will need transportation. Captain, we aren't far from the plaza where Lieutenant Mira was heading. The Imperial Guard rallied on it. They will have Valkyries. We can fly to the research facility. Let's find this Imperial Guard outpost.
closest to Drogon's alive. I can't believe we survived that. Inquisitor, your wound is slowing us down. I can manage. Brothers, take him to the Valkyries. I will draw the orcs off and meet you there. Give the power source to the sergeant then, Captain. No, Drogon. The orc chieftain wanted the power source. When his orcs see I possess it, not you, they will follow me. Move out. instrument of the Emperor's will, Trooper. Now indicate to me the nearest concentration of orcs. Aye, my lord. Master's Plaza has just passed this hab complex. It is swarming with the beasts. Not for long. Captain, we are within sight of the Imperial Guard Bastion. <laughs> Welcome to Bastion Primus, Captain. Sergeant Sedonis briefed me about the Inquisitor and his doomsday weapon. He said you require air transport to the Calchas facility. Your Valkyries are the fastest way to reach it, and we have no time to spare. Your men are already on board their Valkyrie, and the squadron's ready for liftoff. We'll get you to Calchas with all speed. It's time the Imperial Guard brought the fight to the Orcs.
Coming, Lieutenant. Valkyrie 2 is down. I require immediate transport. We're on approach, Captain. Status. The remainder of the squadron has escorted his craft to the outskirts of the Calchas facility. Very good. I must return to base. Those damned old flyers cost me too many good men and too many gunships. I'll be hard pressed to defend the outpost. Thank you. And good luck, Lieutenant. Where is it? The device is secure. What are you waiting for then? Further delay is intolerable. Inquisitor, are you all right? Yes. Come. There's no time to waste. More of them. Dispatch them More quickly. Robots. We must hurry. the psychic scourge. How large is the weapon? The firing mechanism is at my research lab, but the energy pulse itself travels along conduits from the lab to the orbital spire. I thought the spire to be a ground to space transport. It is. With a few modifications, it also makes an ideal firing tower. The energy pulse should not damage the spire. You do not sound confident. Improvisation and experimentation go hand in hand. These pipes lead into the facility's sub basements, and here is our entrance. Servo turrets, mostly. Set to eliminate orcs? Set to eliminate anything with the misfortune to move within their range. What is kept in these containers? Specimens needed for my research. Specimens, cages, operating theatres. This place reeks of Xenos filth. That is the business of the Inquisition. This way, Ultramarines! room is beyond those doors. And they set the doors. All the security measures will be down shortly, Captain. I'm afraid they were the only thing keeping the orcs outside, however. But you will be able to fire the weapon. Indeed. We had better do so quickly. This place will be awash with orcs before long. Of course. 
Security systems disabled. Authorization recognized. Releasing safeguard. Please proceed to the generator room. Risk exposure again. Only if you drop the canister. Ah, very good, Captain. Your time carrying my power source is finally at an end. Stand clear. Psychic surge firing sequence commencing. Alarm. Structural damage. Warning. Emergency containment right in place. Damnable thing! What do you need me to do, Inquisitor? You'll need to manually restart the array alignment. Forcibly, if you must. Where? In the firing chamber. Board the lift, Ultramarines. Captain, you must hurry. The damn orcs have cut the main conduits to the firing tower. Chamber is infested. Clear it out. No mercy. Psychic surge firing. Inquisitor, the conduits are reconnected. Now, proceed to the main control panel. Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! Stand fast, Ultramarines. We can handle a few things. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt?
Protect us. We need an exit. To the lift! That fiend speak truth. Did we cause a chaos invasion? Of course we did. His Inquisitor puppet manipulated us from the moment we met. And before. The false Inquisitor sent the distress call. I don't think so, Leandros. The man's urgency. His fear. I believe that was the real Drogon. Facing certain death. And it found him. But not at the orb's hands. Somehow the agents of chaos were already here. Victus, to sever the orbital spire. At that range, will the Titan's cannon be effective? It's time we use the power source to our advantage. To supercharge Invictus. We need to reach that Titan. So, the demon killed Inquisitor Drogon and then possessed his body. But why? Alone, there was no way the demon could get the power source past a million orcs. It needed help. And we obliged. I was deceived. I am responsible for chaos breaking through to this world. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus to start. Full access granted. Ultramarines, attack! Duty requires. 
requires that I put voice to my concerns. Speak, then. You held the unshielded power source again, Captain. And again, you emerged from the exposure unscathed. The Codex Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly. But the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this Chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving. Space Marine. They were on us almost immediately. Captain Titus, are you there? This is Lieutenant Mira. This whole planet has gone mad. The forces of chaos are invading this world. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. I know what route to take. I deployed troops to man outposts between the Calchas facility and Bastion Primus. From there, you can access the rail network and cross to manufacture rubber jackets. Understood. I will meet you there. of chaos. Trooper, get yourself together right now. Yes, ma'am. Greetings, Ultramarines. What is your situation, Lieutenant? As well as can be hoped, considering we are surrounded on all sides by the enemy horde. Well met, Mira. Jonah, I half expected to find a demon chewing on your bones. Well, they'd spit me right out. Make your report, Jonah. The Greenskins have been pressing us hard, both down here and at the Bastion Pop. Get ready to fall back to the Bastion. Do not engage Chaos forces directly until I get reinforcements down here to back you up. I, Lieutenant. Captain Titus, this way. Lieutenant Mira, this is Bastion Primus. We're under heavy assault. The orcs are back, and they cut power to the sentry guns. All of them? They took out the generator. We couldn't defend it against such numbers. We had to fall back. The Ultramarines and I are almost at your position. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus of Starkey. Access authorized. Forward! Captain Titus, we are running into orcs down here. Nothing like above, though. Just enough to be an annoyance. We will be there soon. Understood. Thank you. 
this engine down. That's right! Because I'm gonna kill you, Spike Marine! dealt with their war boss once and for all. We have a chance now. Bolster your defenses. The demon host will not be so easy to frighten off. Good luck, Titus. All our hopes are with you. All access granted. Ultramarines. This is Princeps Enoch aboard Titan Invictus. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's immobilized. You will need to activate our Earth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood. your weapon. Where must I 
bring the power source? Travel across the armature to the starboard side, Captain. I will open the maintenance apps for the volcano cannon. Protocol suspended. Access authorized. The apps is below you, Captain. has performed admirably, Enoch. The warp gate is closing. Thank the machine god. Shutting down all systems. That's done it, Titus. But Nemeroff and his demon host still roam free. Though he is trapped on this world. And all the more desperate to recover the power source. We must get it to safety, old friend. Good news on that front. Lieutenant Mira reports that the Liberation Fleet has entered the system. The Inquisition will surely have sent agents with the fleet, Captain. Perhaps we can return the device to them. The Inquisition has already failed to stop its exploitation by chaos. No one must use the device, Leandros, ever again. Contact Lieutenant Mira and have her divert a Valkyrie here to pick us up. Yes, Captain. I suppose putting a bolt around through that damnable power source is out of the question. Too risky. We could open another warp gate, for all we know. Upon our return to McCrag, I will confide it to the chapter master and his librarians. And until then? My most trusted brother will bring it to our strike cruiser and seal it in the armory. Get this damn thing secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. <laughs> what will you be doing while I run this little errand? There are still thousands of traitors and heretics on this world. I intend to drastically thin their ranks. Lieutenant Mira's Valkyrie is on its way, Captain. Excellent. We make for the landing pad and watch for the Chaos Lord's forces. There! Retrieve the wolf device! Sedonis, get to the landing pad. Aye, Captain.
I couldn't reach him in time. Sidonus died as we all should. A righteous battle. Do not give in to grief, Leandros. Turn your thoughts to vengeance. Nemeroth will pay in blood. Nimroth killed Sidonus for the power source. You said the Inquisitor's work was heretical, Leandros. You are right. What do you mean? Nimroth plans to use the power source to trigger his transformation into a demon prince. Abomination! How can we stand against such a creature? I will kill Nimroth when he's most vulnerable. During the transformation. Safeguard Sidonus until the Apothecary arrives. Then join the Imperial attack. Going alone is suicide. Or worse, we know the enemy takes great interest in your connection to Chaos. Do you fear my falling to Chaos? Of course not. Whatever lies behind your resistance, it can only be to the enemy's favor. Why? Perhaps this resistance can get you close enough for a killing blow. I will destroy Nemroth with skill and steel, or die trying. If this resistance comes into play during battle, so be it. So be it. Hard work occupies the body and distracts the mind. It is a noble and worthy thing. Severed, but it's still the enemy's strong point. The fleet is preparing an all-out assault. The attack will not be enough to stop the forces of Kansas. I know. Good luck, Captain Titus. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Captain Titus, on the whole glass of jokes at your disposal, Captain. I must reach the orbit of Spire. Tell your pilot to make his approach. Yes, sir. Blood Raven Squad Corvus reporting in, Captain Titus. We join the Liberation Fleet at Bakar, along with a squad of Black Templars. Unleash the fury you showed in the Aurelian Crusade, and we will be glad to have even a few Blood Ravens with us. You may rely on that, Captain. Then join the forces driving into the Demon Host, and stop any enemies trying to follow me up the orbital spire. None shall find us wanting. Honor and glory, Blood Raven.
Draco. Your orders, Captain. Contain the chaos threat here. Understood. Thunderhawk ready for transport, Captain Titus. I will need all your skill, pilot. I will take you into the Eye of Terror if you ask it, Captain. The orbital spire will do for today, brother. Join our forces and bring fury to the enemy. This battle is mighty low. Yes, sir. The dark gods of... This madness will not stop me, and neither will you. Sedonus, and for the Emperor, I will finish this. Dread gods of chaos, I am Nebroth, your herald and champion. I have burned a thousand worlds in your dark names. You challenged me to recover this fragment of your and I have done this. The slaves of the false emperor, who dared claim it as their own, lie dead at my hand. I return your dark relic to you. I offer up this world and all those upon it. I ask for You want to talk to your gods? I will send you to them. Admitted, Titus. The power of chaos is within you, calling to this family. Imagine the ultimate dominating this galaxy in glorious conquest, with you at their head. Imagine the power. As a slave to chaos, nothing you say can tempt me from the path of honor, or from avenging the deaths of my battle brothers. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine! Nothing can stop my ascension! Grant me your favor. Corrupt! Instead, he has 
Stranger to the touch of the war. I see the Ultramarines are human, after all. More than you know, Lieutenant. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic! You lie! Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command, not to mention those who stand at your side.
ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira. And the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a Space Marine. And you have failed.